Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is Drew here from Lone Fox and I am with Rachel Metz from Living to DIY. <laughs> Rachel Metz is literally a DIY queen. Stop. Like her YouTube channel, you guys, is so good and I've been following you for so long. Like no. probably like two and a half years and I knew. No, because that makes me nervous. You slid into, well, not even slid into my DMs. I think I slid into yours and then I think I messaged you again like, I don't even know how, I didn't even know this was you. I like freaked out because I am such a big fan. It's like an honor right now. <sighs> Uh, yeah, well, anyways, thank you for that. <laughs> no. <laughs> Rachel does literally the best stuff with power tools. I know nothing about a power tool, so I thought it would be really fun for you to kind of teach me how to use a power tool. I'm just, you're going to be using and a then, couple today, yeah. Yeah, and then we're going to make this, like, really cool shelving system that I saw at Ikea, which I'll pop up a photo right now for you guys. I saw this at Ikea, and I sent it to Rachel. I texted it to her, and I was like, can we make something like this? Yeah. $130 at Ikea, which, honestly, that at Ikea looks like it should be, like, $50, doesn't at, it? Well, it's a, a piece of plywood. We spent $22. $22 total on this project. <laughs> and, well, and some hooks. Maybe, yeah. like, $24, $25. We were walking through Home Depot, and I started really realizing what this build was, I almost got like jealous. So I'm like, I pick the most difficult builds But that's do. what makes your video so good. No, but that's why I'm like, I wish I thought of this, but now I'm excited because I'm just, I can't wait to see you use a table saw. I know, I'm, oh. And a good miter. Love a good miter saw. <laughs> I love a miter saw. I love a table saw. I love a, what are other kind of saws? Uh, a, hand, no, a hand saw. Circular saw. A circular saw. You know. Okay, I'm so excited right now. Me you too. have no idea. I get so nervous before I build because I'm just, I just want it to be done already. <laughs> All right, I think let's get into it. Okay, Rachel and I are in Home Depot. Not my stomping ground, definitely yours. Definitely my stomping ground. <laughs> definitely we're gonna second get, home. We're gonna make this as easy as possible though for you guys. It's not gonna be super crazy. It's not gonna be that hard, Rachel says. There's a project Pantle, oh, <laughs> Pantle. <laughs> we're at the Pantone Center. All right, guys, so the, oh, I that bird is me so, flying in the Home Depot. What do you think it's looking for? I don't know. Probably bird seed. They probably sell that here in the exterior section. <laughs> Basically, we're changing the shape from the Ikea one because the original Ikea one's like a square. Yep. It's like a, a perfect square. A perfect, it's 40. like a hashtag. It That's is a hashtag. literally what it is. It's a hashtag. It's so a hashtag we are now creating, I feel like it kind of makes it a little bit like 70s almost, like a longer and skinnier. Yeah, it's just more sleek. Instead of like yeah. being an eyesore when you look at your wall and it's like boom, Big. it's yeah. like sexy. I want it to be like skinny, like a skinny legend shelf. <laughs> I'm gonna overlay right now showing you guys a piece of wood that kind of has the cuts that we're gonna attempt to make. Or we are gonna make, we're not uh, even gonna attempt. Well, I tried one and it didn't go well, so I'm oh. hoping this goes smoother. We hope it goes smoother tonight. <laughs> I think you need one of these, Rachel, in your house. I literally- Just a 7,000 series year cutting solution vertical panel saw. <laughs> I can't believe you With said safety that so speed quality. manufacturing. <laughs> The guy that cut our wood thinks that we are a couple. And we have a 10 year old, we have a 10 -year -old kid, so. And he got my number. And he got and your number. Fake one? Yeah, and, and like, then he let me do a call. call. <laughs> So some of the additional tools we're gonna to be using are a speed square, hammer, chisel, tape measure, pencil, and also these little D-ring hangers. But what I wanted to start off with doing is showing you Callie, look at her, she's running around. But we actually needed to go in and cut down one of our long strips that he cut for us originally in half so that we're gonna have two 24 inch long sections and then two 48 inch long sections. Okay. Okay, now you can start it. Okay. Done. We did it. <laughs> Professional. Oh my gosh. That's the first wood cut I've ever cut. Really? If a wood truck could cut wood. <laughs> So we cut the wood, which I just showed you guys, and now we're marking at eight inches on these little 24 inch sections, which are the ones we cut. We're marking at eight and at 16, because those are where we're going to cut the grooves In. to hold these shelves. Just a quarter inch on either side of this. I used a ruler on either side to make a starting point, and then I drew a line down to the center of that wood piece, which is four inches down. So now we're ready to cut. Kind of scared. You're gonna use the table Kind of scared, I'm scared. Table saw. We'll do the smaller pieces first. Let's pull the wood away. Okay. And then the toggle on the bottom that says on and off. Okay. And then let it keep going. Do I have to push it in? Um, no, you pull it up. Pull it up. Don't touch the 
wood yet until the sauce stops. Basically chisel out that little nub. Yeah. And then that will be our first joint. Okay, we also decided that because the table saw, not everyone, or I feel like not a lot of people have a table saw, we're gonna use this circular saw, which is this saw over here, because a lot of people can easily access the circular saw. And I personally have never used power tools before, so I'm actually kind of excited to use multiple different types of saws as opposed to just a table saw and just a miter saw. Like I wanted to learn how to use the circular saw too, you know? So we're gonna do that and cut these ones. Okay, so now that all the cuts are made, we're actually gonna be using this little chisel here, and we're going to be chiseling out this inside section. That way we don't have to use some form of power tool. It just seems a lot easier like that. So now that we have all the joints cut down, we're literally just gonna puzzle piece it together by putting the halves to slide into one another to connect it. That's literally now all the assembly that this takes. So a little bit of glue, and then we're gonna use a speed square too just to make sure we have these 90 degree angles, and that's it, we're done. Like three steps. So we ended up using a paintbrush and just some wood glue to add a little bit of glue to each of these little slots because once you actually press them together, they are gonna be extremely tight because they're actually very form fitting, but the wood glue is just gonna act as an additional bonder to make sure that everything is nice and perfectly just placed and in the perfect place, if that makes sense. I'm also using a mallet and a little piece of wood to just make sure that this is fit together extremely snug um, and it's just going to last forever. Wow, so this it. looks so good. And then don't we just have to add the yeah. little D hooks to the back? And then Rachel also mentioned that if you wanted to, cause these still will hold like a good amount of stuff. Like they're pretty sturdy, you know? But if you wanted to put like huge books across this or something and use it as like a bookshelf, she mentioned that you could put brackets underneath these sections and put it on the wall like that. So that way it holds up more weight, but I'm not gonna have that much weight on mine. So I'm just gonna hang it from like the center points here. So the next day, it was time to hang the shelf on the wall, and this is actually part of my room makeover video I did about a week ago on my channel. I absolutely love the outcome of my room, and this just made it look so incredibly amazing, and it fits this space perfectly. So I hung up some drywall anchors, or I hammered them in, then I added screws, then I hung my shelf on the drywall anchors to make sure that it was really gonna be mounted and secured nicely, because I did wanna add a couple nice pieces of decor on here. So I started off with a large faux hanging plant. I've had this plant for so long, I wanna actually transition it to a real one, but I haven't yet. And then I added just a ton of random knickknacks, a little radio, this film canister from the thrift store, some candles, some books, some Palo Santo, a helmet, whatever you want to put on your shelf, style it away and you're good to go. Like I said before, I'm a little bit jealous how simple this build was. Yeah, but it's I so easy. Look at it. It's right here. I just can't believe that it's basically three steps. Yeah, and you're done. Cool. You yeah. measure, cut, cut, put together. Yeah. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this build, and I hope you enjoyed watching his so... face change when he was using all the saws and all the power tools. I loved using the power tools. I loved coming over to Rachel's house. This is actually the first time that we've actually met. I know, but, but we're like. like we weren't gonna film the first time we went, but then it was just like so like casual. We're like, let's just build this and film at the same time. But I also feel like right when you pulled up, I was like, it just feels like you've been my friend for I years. know, exactly. Is that weird? Like, Is yeah. that creepy? Comment down. I'll be coming creepy. over a lot now, and I'm really- You should help me with my pantry sliding door. Okay. Geometric oh. nail guns. Oh, I love nail guns. 
I we love a good nail gun. We got a brad nail or a nail gun for you to use. Perfect. <gasps> also make sure to check out the video we did over on Rachel's channel, which I was in as well. We created another really fun project with more power tools, so definitely check Different that out. Different ones. Different ones. A uh, link is in the description box below. Subscribe to her, her content is amazing. And I will catch you guys all in the next one. But wait, if you're coming over from my channel and watching this video and you see this outro, you best be subscribing. So oh. don't even leave if yeah. you haven't subscribed Subscribe yet. below. Yes. Turn on the bell. And you know, <laughs> like and all the things. Yeah, all the things you need to do. So. Thank you for coming over. Thank you for having me. Oh, I'm so excited. I would hug you, but I'm like a little I'm sweaty. I'm so yeah, sweaty. I'm like, please don't try I'm to like hug tacky. me right now. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna go cool off. Okay, we will see you later. Bye, guys. Bye.